also, when we're talking about universal computation, what we mean is a very simple idea. A any computer that you buy is a universal computer, and what that means is that it can do anything that any other computer can do, except if it doesn't have enough memory, or if you want it to run quickly or fast. In other words, if I try, try to write a simulator for a computer that uh, runs very fast, and I have a slow computer to run it on, it will do exactly the same thing, but lots slower. That's one thing. The other thing is if you have a computer with a memory of a million words, I need a computer with a slightly bigger memory if I'm going to simulate yours exactly. You never need more than just a slightly greater amount of memory. And the reason you don't need more than that is that whatever they have in their memory you have to be able to have the same thing in yours. And the definition of a computer, it only takes a little bit of memory. So it's a little bit plus a variable amount where the variable amount is exactly the same as the big computer you're simulating on a little computer. So if you want to simulate the whole universe, we're out of luck because we don't have enough memory. But since most of the universe is doing nothing, empty space, you know, some little bit of light crosses it from distant stars and things like that. But basically, mostly it's doing nothing. So that means we can simulate a lot more of space and time and physics than one might think.